happy Monday. I'm actually doing this on a Monday. Um, I woke up feeling pretty good today. Maybe because I got away to the mountains this weekend, which is always like super great recharge. And we celebrated my little brother's birthday and my sister-in-law's birthday, which is like a week after his. And um, my parents live up in North Georgia. And most of the trip was really great, except for some like horribly racist stuff we encountered in a local store up there. And then, oh, anyways, I don't want to get into that. I was in a really good mood. Um, but you can see the post. I shared it. Go look back if you want to see about the horrible racist stuff. Aww. Okay, hi, Jen. Hi, Nikita. How are y'all? It's good to see y'all. Hi. So we still have Mercury retrograde in Pisces right now. Um, Ooh, I meant to look up the moon today. The moon was just in Gemini, which is bringing a little more like, let's be social, let's talk, let's communicate. Um, and then all that Capricorn energy, right? That's kind of like a big theme of the year, except this month. Get excited. Saturn's going to move into Aquarius until July, and it'll be back in Capricorn to de until December. And I'm going to offer a really special reading um, for Saturn in Aquarius. I haven't fully fleshed it out yet, but it might be a mix of astrology and tarot, so it'll be extra cool. Hi, Brianna. So I've got my Mystic Mon my actual Mystic Mondays deck again today, and I'm shuffling it. And let's let's see let's see what the cards say about this week. Do 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 do. do. Okay, I think they're ready. I think they're ready. One, two, three. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, here we go. Our first card is the Four of Cups. Yay, I love this card. This is actually, I don't know about you if you have favorite tarot cards, um, but this is one of my favorites ever of all time. Usually, and well, I don't want to say usually. There's a million different decks out there. In fact, I love this card so much. If y'all have tarot cards, Will you find your four of cups in whatever your favorite deck is and like send me a picture because, or just post it in the comments because I really love seeing different depictions of this card. But in like the more traditional Rider Waite Smith deck, it's some guy sitting kind of tired and beat up under a tree. Maybe not beat up, but he looks pretty exhausted. And there's three cups in front of him, much like in this card. And then out of the air, a magical hand appears with a fourth cup. In this deck, it's coming down from above. It's this woman seated in meditation, three cups in front of her, and she's between two trees. Um, and I really love it in this deck because for me, the Four of Cups is about surprising and unexpected opportunities and how we shouldn't, if the three options in front of you aren't feeling right, this is so relevant to like the days and times we're living in. Oh, hi, Amanda. You're actually up for my live. It's been forever. Yes. Remind me what time zone you're in. Mm, I don't remember, but it's good to see you, Amanda. So with the three of cups, four of cups, sorry, the three cups, it's like none of those are really what she's wanting. So what is she doing? Instead of forcing herself to choose or reach for one of the three in front of her, She's like, I'm going to stay centered and aligned and see what else might show up. I thought you were in the Pacific time zone. 6 a.m. Thanks for being here. Here's some sunshine for you. Yay. Oh, you love the Four of Cups memes? Wait, I don't know if I've seen Four of Cups memes. Hit me up with those. I want to see them. I'm going to go, go, I'm gonna go down like a rabbit hole of Googling Four of Cups memes. Uh, so... This is the magical, like beautiful, this is what fills my cup. This is what I am wanting. I don't have to force myself to choose something that doesn't work for me. And that's part of a Mercury retrograde, right? Where it's a pause. The universe presses pause and we need to wait. We need to process, feel into, assess the information coming. With Mercury retrograde in Pisces, it's working through the information from our depths. It's stuff that we might not have even been aware of consciously before is coming into our awareness, but don't act on it right away, especially with all that Capricorn energy. Capricorn wants you to take your time. Mercury retrograde wants you to really stay internal, see what's most aligned, 
let it come in. Don't rush to act on things just yet because you might end up grabbing a cup that's not meant for you, right? Okay, so that's just the first card. I could go on and on just because I love Four of Cups so much. I got really excited when I saw that. Our next card is Two of Pentacles. So we wait, we're being asked this week to wait, to assess, to stay centered, grounded, stay in a space of meditation and reflection because things are coming into balance in a different way than before, but bringing us into that eternal flow um, that's truly like the most aligned space to be. We can't force that balance or alignment. There's no amount of yoga or chanting or exercise or coercing or strategizing we can do to bring us into that flow. It is an allowance. So cool your jets a little bit and feel into where that flow is taking you. And then seven of wands. You're standing on a hill, there's things coming at you. Are you gonna fight them back? Do you need to be defensive right now? So towards the end of the week, we might be feeling a little overwhelmed, a little triggered. You might already be feeling that. But there's a message in this card of just stand your ground and stay aligned. You don't necessarily have to take it as an attack or take it personally. Because for people that aren't really able to be doing their, their own work and staying aligned, they might start acting out a little bit and it might feel like other people are judging you or it's bringing up your own insecurities about when I'm not actively rushing around and doing and choosing and coercing and creating, maybe I'm feeling like I'm not really in the flow. Maybe I'm feeling like this is very vulnerable for me to just sit here with myself and that can create, sometimes we create eight a sense of judgment or defense that isn't actually there and that's what seven of wands asks of us it's to honor your passion honor your desire honor what's right for you and know your strength and worth and value and see like maybe all of these wands down here are coming because they see you as a leader or they're drawn to you or they're coming to say like heck yeah it's not, why does it have to be an attack? It's not necessarily an attack. These aren't swords. These are wands. Rally your priestesses, rally your wizards, rally your magicians. Um, we are moving into a time, especially as Saturn moves into Aquarius and ultimately Pluto is gonna be moving into Aquarius in a couple years. This Aquarian energy is about the collective. It's not about us standing on our own, but there will be leaders we need to follow. And where in your life are you leading? Where do you really have to honor and stand your own ground rooted in your desire, in your deepest passion? And maybe there's a bunch of, of other magical people coming in to support you, but you have to be okay with everything that comes up when you sit there and try to trust yourself and be authentically who you are and let that be seen and known in the world, it's gonna bring some stuff up. It's gonna make some people uncomfortable. There probably will be some swords coming your way, but you don't have to be constantly on the defense. And so sitting with all of that this week, sitting with our journey, four of cups, two of pinnacles, seven of wands. So we have water, earth, Alrighty, that's our week. I'm gonna let y'all sit with that and please share with me your, your favorite four of cups stuff because I love it. Okay, thanks y'all. Have a great week. Mwah! Bye.